So these are uh, windshield wipers. They really help with uh, finding your balance, like getting up and then slowly bringing your, your body into it, and it, it really engages your core, hip flexors, and your back and arms. Works on your grip strength. Come on. Tighten everything up. Everything's tight. Bring it through. Over to the side. Back over. And just continue this motion. And if you weren't strong enough to do that, there's always like the other variations to either just bring it up or bring it over and across with just your knees to engage that. But that really, it's really great full body with the exception of your legs. Great upper body and uh, strength, grip strength. So um, I'm going to be sprinting barefoot right now. Uh, it's really great for like strengthening your feet up as opposed to like wearing running shoes which give you support so you never really never really engage certain tendons, muscles that are in your feet which are very beneficial to your posture and how you walk. Um, sprinting is great for bringing your heart rate up and down, strengthening your cardiovascular as well as it's actually like the best exercise for losing fat if, if you're interested in that. Okay. Just because when you stop sprinting it's going to dump fat into your bloodstream and all of that. Uh, raise your metabolism, everything like that. Normally you would want to be like pumping your arms hard and right. uh, get your momentum going this way, back and forth, engaging your whole body. But on this surface? But on this surface I didn't want to explode and run too fast because cement and my feet aren't callous enough to do that right now. These are great for uh, people who don't have anything to work with or people starting out because you really can go as slow as you want and just feel the muscles working throughout the whole range of motion. Um, working your chest, shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of your, your back and lats as well are engaged the whole pressing motion. Um, those and pull-ups are probably the best body weight movements I would do. I'm actually a very firm believer in low, a low carb, high fat diet because high fat diets are great for testosterone levels, regulating everything like that. Uh, so hormones are gonna keep your body functioning the way it needs to. Use. Insulin's a huge hormone. They actually say that it, the more insulin you produce throughout your life, the quicker you're aging. So what that does, it actually stores fat when, you, when your insulin spikes too high. So eating all these refined foods and high fat with high carbs, you're spiking your insulin so that your body can't release the fat from the fat cells to use as energy because insulin puts, puts it in there. So when it's too high, that's when you're gonna be gaining fat. If it's too high for too long or too frequently, the uh, your, your pancreas doesn't secrete it as well. So that's where you can get diabetes. Personally, I would recommend limiting grains and refined sugars. Exercising, just getting out and moving, like for, for everyone, depending on what your goals are, just, just moving around, going on a bike ride, going on a walk, uh, getting some kind of strength training in to really stabilize and use your whole body. Exercise science is a major. It, uh, it's not necessarily what most people are going to think it is. It's not just like a bunch of meatheads running around just picking things up and loving to work out. It is great for people gaining like really good amount of knowledge and being able to stay healthy throughout their lives.